Jake Ludington here at HPE Discover, and I'm here with Milan Thacker. And you've got a, a robotics configuration back here that's powered by an edge line system from HP. And can you tell me what's going on here and, and how you're using it? Okay, so what we have here, Jake, is a fully functioning manufacturing assembly line. We have a robot, a pneumatic system, several conveyor belts, a camera for quality inspection, and a disassembly station so that we can do it all over again. Our full stack of software is running on the Edgeline Converged system, which we're now using to perform predictive analytics at the edge, as well as make sure that we can monitor in real time everything that's happening on our line. And so why do you need to do that? Uh, in a factory, it's important that we make, can make decisions as quickly as possible. Predictive analytics allow us to make decisions ahead of time and be able to decide whether we need to shut the line down or continue running it. Uh, having real-time visibility into the line also increases production by 10 to 20 percent in some cases. All right, so can you give me an example of, of how you would do that? So first of all, we've connected all of these systems via Kepware. Kepware is one of our pieces of software, which is running on the Edgeline Converge system. It pulls real-time data from each of these systems. So it pulls how the robot is performing, how the conveyor belts are performing, and if there's any problems on the line. We then integrate that with business systems, such as an ERP or a manufacturing execution system, to be able to allow plant managers and production supervisors to make decisions based on whether there's a problem on the line and how quickly the line is expected to fail. Okay, and so uh, I think you have a demo here that you can show what, what a failure looks like? Absolutely. So, as a demo, I'll start off as a maintenance engineer. And right now we can see I have maintenance orders in the system, I have some plant assets. Let me dig a little bit deeper into the pneumatic system. Everything looks good right now. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to cause a failure in the system. I'm going to open up an air leak, and if you can't hear the air leak, you can also see it on the little fluttering balloon. But right away you can see the flow tick out of normal range. And when that flow ticks out of normal range, it sends a message to our anomaly detection engine. When it sends a message to the anomaly detection engine, it predicts, I've seen this data pattern before, I think it's going to fail in about 10 or 12 days. All right, so then what happens next? So then what happens next, it generates a maintenance order in the system. So we can have a maintenance tech come along and say, okay, this is part of my workflow. I need to fix the problem in the system. He can turn the knob and it fixes, and it's fixed. Okay, the last thing I'd like to show is it looked like we had a bunch of other maintenance orders in the system. So we needed to do, use some augmented reality to be able to figure out how exactly to service this. There was a bearing, it looked like there was a bearing that had some problems, that had some maintenance orders in the system. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to scan this view mark. Now as a maintenance engineer, I can come over to this bearing and say, how do I replace it? Hit the play button and it shows me a real-time animation of how to fix this problem. Now this is important for two reasons. The first reason is that if we do this, we no longer have to write manuals and translate them into 12 different languages. We can right away have any engineering changes populated downstream to show how exactly to fix any problems that might come up in a factory. So this basically um, takes, like, I guess you could say, some of the guesswork out of uh, keeping things flowing. Absolutely. Very cool. Thank you.